Hey guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 The Republic and we're on episode 20 and in the last episode we threw some of our vassals into prison. We threw this guy in and uh, this guy in prison. And they were plotting against us, I'm pretty sure. I can't quite remember now why. Um, why did I prison them? I don't know. He kind of likes me, even though I imprison him. I should let him go. He's not too bad. But, um... He's possessed. Oh. That could be one of the reasons. Anyhow. Um, we are slowly expanding our merchant empire by building up our trade posts. Which we actually have a lot of. And, I mean, just taking a look at all of my trade zones here. This is my trading zone. So is this, actually. And I do have this one, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, but these two will never be as good as the one up here. But, hmm. It will still gain me some gold. So let's uh, get going again. My... Well... I, I suppose, Mr. Toke of Gotland is getting old, which means that he will soon die. Oh, look at this. He hasn't got much respect at all. I'm gonna drop down my campaign fund a bit here. And we're now on the exact trade post limit that we can have. Good. Sermonand? Uh, merchant port. We're gaining much money now. I like it. Um, there is a bit of... Um, there is a Swedish-Norwegian war over Vesterbotten, which is up here. And uh, Sweden is currently holding a 17,000-man army. But... Ah, I don't know. Attrition? Dangerous. You don't want to lose your troops to attrition. And there we go. Another one. Was up in Oslo area here. So now we have a merchant port. And that should increase our monthly balance income a little bit here. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing? Still 38.27. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit. Uh, so, once I get more money, I will keep on expanding and building these up so that they are producing more money for me. And then, once we have built through these with the trading post, let's uh, focus on the garrison so we get a bigger retinue so I can actually build up an army to stand up against anything that would happen against me. Um... We can't join our vassals' wars because we're kind of in the war. Just gonna sit here and wait. Um, yeah, so... One moment, guys. Sorry about that. I just wanted to check that the recording was alright. It seemed to be. Uh, I've had some problems with recording, but... Uh, nothing major at the moment. Um, merchant posts... Nah... All right, let's keep on going. It's January 11.37, and uh, the Republic is going strong. A children lacks a guardian. Who? My kinsman. I don't know. Who should train you? Um, you are weak. Okay. Someone can... My Chancellor is a good but I need a steward. So, I'm gonna let Carl, the steward of Gotland, do the training here. Maybe he can pass on the genius trait. I don't know. Probably not, but it might help. Just a sip of tea there to wet my throat. I'm gonna go... Upland is done. With the small merchant port. 
I need to actually upgrade this one with this. Garrisons. We need those. But I'm getting a monthly balance of 14, which is good. I'm gonna build up a decent amount of money just so that I have a good campaign fund for my son, who actually has a fair deal of money. Who are you? Oh, you were my courtier. I would like to see who's actually of my family. Um, I don't suppose... In realm. There we go. Stenshirka. How big is our family, really? Let's see... Our family... Oh, wait. Where am I? He has a lot of vassals. There I am. My family... How do I see how many members I have in the family? There we go. L living members 34, total members 52. So the bigger my family, the better I suppose. It's also difficult to marry people off when everyone is... Okay, my grandson is now of legal age. He came meet us touched, which means he's a good steward. Let's find you a wife. Um, let's get women, who's not in prison, who's not married, uh, not rulers, my religion, yes, and culture, yes, uh, adult could be Annie, and I'd prefer the great houses, and we'll see what we can find, sort by age, going from young. We need someone who's of age or just about inbred, no thank you. A twin who's an intricate web weaver. She's not of blood. She's wrath, just content, not too good. But actually not a bad character. Can we arrange a marriage between you and Gustav? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um, relative to the king, that might be tricky. Let's not. I'll find him a... Uh, I don't know whose son it is him. We don't want the princes of the Holy Roman Empire, even though that would be nice. Great eminence and ambitious. Ambitious, mm. Yeah. And you guys, you're in Gotland to do some scheming. Oh, what happened down here? Um... What? I'm not over my trade skill limit? Oh, I can build another trade post. I should do that immediately. Or at least try to do that immediately. I want to build one more in this area here. Probably Kent. Or... No, in Rouen. Or anywhere where I don't have one in this area, actually. Hmm, this is a bit tricky. Do I want to expand up here? So I can get more in this trade zone? Or do I want to save up money to expand my... Um, to build up my trade posts with more stuff? 
Oh, this one hasn't even got a small. Nope. We save up money. We need to improve this. Although any of these... Yeah, Strobian can build up to 10. And... Uh, I'm a bit worried that they will come here and steal these and these so that I can, can't build a straight of Dover trading area. Okay, upgrading is off for a bit here while I focus on getting this one up. Here we go. That should do good. What is losing me money right now? Paying a lot in family dues. Mm. Thank you. I'm now liked a lot by my um, by my king chancellor can we make some people upset with anyone actually improve diplomatic relations now with this guy because he's the Oh, wait. Oh, I can't just sign a new job. Um, he's not, actually. Um, hmm. Okay. He inherited from his sibling. And... Uh, he lost a lot of the respect he had from that. That's good with me. That's good. That's fine. The Dynamite Dungeons. He's got Stetten. Is that here? Can I ask you to end your plot? Huh. How's the Swedish war going here? Well, with this many men, Sweden will have this. In no time. So I kind of blocked this guy off. He can expand up. Oh, wait a second here now. There is some infighting between my vassals. Can I change the crown law? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. You can press claim for Calabria and Bari, but I don't want that. Okay. Are they attacking me now? No. Let's see, it's 11.38. And this guy here is not doing anything, but this guy is currently... Why did I send it to so descent? That's embarrassing. I wanted to improve rep mm. Can I send you home? No. Okay. <laughs> well, gonna have some fun. See if I can get that guy to rebel, I suppose. Although he kind of doesn't like that, no. He's a crusader. Cool. Well, congratulations, grandson. Now, 66 years old. Will this be the last episode with this guy? Maybe. Maybe not. 
My granddaughter needs someone to teach her a few things. Um, gonna go for learning. The Bishop of Rome, he's a lunatic. We don't want that. He's a genius. Carl, let's go. All my sons are of age. Are any of my sons not married yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay. So this army is sitting here. Just sitting there. I can't raise any more army levies, but... Of course I want to invite this guy. He'll be happy. He was the last to arrive. Um, we need a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Do we want this one or this one? This one has a lot more economy advances, so let's go there. Now we have a whoa another man another granddaughter. She's um, let's make her a good Dipl diplomat. No, actually, go for intrigue. The spy master of Gotland. He's possessed. Is that my spy master? He's possessed. Um, I'm gonna get rid of him. I don't like that at all. Um, dude, improve diplomatic relations, please. <sighs> Possessed. Wow, that's some difference. He wants to be steward. Yeah, but you're such a good spy master. So, lend us your spy master skills for a little while. Thank you. She was. Wow, the queen died. Do we know? How strong is the Ghostmid family right now? I really need to get rid of this guy. Uh, just gonna let them play out their little intrigues. Uh, the next thing I want to do, though, is uh, build on... They are really expanding these two, and he's focused on the chipyard for more galleys. I don't know what that really does. Um... I'm going to focus on getting a palace upgrade, I think. Oh, no, no, no. The military warehouse. Definitely. More retinue. It's a good plan. And then after that, we will focus on the fortified vault. Actually, we'll start with that. I need more money income. Because money income is important. Okay. Um, he was murdered by... Um, okay, I think maybe he was murdered by his grandson. 
And Strogan is uh, dropping off. Goldsmith is not a problem. They have no respect left, but this guy could be. Um, but we should be fine. How's this trade post going? Will be done in May. Okay, so Genoa is expanding in this area. We're gonna have to go up against them at some point. They are huge. Look at that. They have a balance of plus 56 and have a balance of plus 162. So we're a stronger trade house, but they might have a bigger army. Um, which I can actually find out, I think. Um, let's see. That's the Holy Roman. How did I get that again? Genoa. There we go. Um, uh, this guy here is the Doge of Genoa. And he can raise some like... 4,800 troops. And I can rage, raise 17,000 oh, of my top leash in case of problems. And I can call in some allies as well, so it should be fine. I should be fine. He died a natural death, you say? He was the Baron of this place, which I can upgrade. Same I could do with this, but I don't know if I wanna. Okay, there's a lot of factions going right now. None of them are strong enough to overthrow the current king, which I kind of need to be keeping at least friends with, because um, well, he likes me a lot. He doesn't like the fact that I'm gluttonous, but our improved relations do uh, wonders. Hm. Mercy to sinners. We're both gluttonous. Why did I get mercy to sinners? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. So, saving up money. This trade post will be done fairly soon. In a couple of months. It's February. Which is good. I say we're doing pretty good here. And I'm gonna try and stay in... Huh. Can I get you to end your plots? Thank you. Okay, so they didn't inherit the claim. Can I do any plotting? No suitable plots, no ambitions. Okay. That's fine with me. Okay. Um, wow. How did that happen? Hmm. Okay. It dawns on me that there are plenty of intrigue happening right under my nose. Yes. I will we'll join the gossip sessions. Congratulations, grandson. Great granddaughter. Now this trade post here. None of these. Well, this one has a small merchant port that can be upgraded. Um. No, don't do that. Ah. Uh. I was saying you need a guardian and I want you to be a good fighter so let's find Blave who 
was my chancellor and why did he leave? I don't understand. Oh, maybe he... Designated heir. Oh, actually, you're a very good one. Um, get me a claim somewhere, shall we? But before we do that... Let's see. This is part of Sweden. This is part of the Holy Roman Empire, and I don't want to go claiming that. This is part of Norway. Let's see. Independent realms. Brittany. Can I claim this? She's a duchess. She hasn't got that much. Get me a claim there. Maybe I can get these guys out. Fabricate claims there. Who knows? Maybe. Oh, the scandal. I improved my intrigue. I need new ambition. Uh, improve my marshal. I'm 68 years old and I want to improve my martial skills. What was I saying? You need to build your martial skills, definitely. Um, which means that I need a good martial blade. Cool. Um, once I hit 250, I am going to build the next step of the fortified vault. Yeah, you can rot. You're a Cathar. Who was that? Oh, she was a courtier. Natural death. He died of pneumonia. Um, I do hope that pneumonia does not get into my court. Because that would be painful. Come on. I'm gonna keep this window open. Move it there. No, our holding is not under siege. Hmm. Two forty five. How's the Republic going? He's got a good amount of respect, but not as much as... Here they go again. There we go. Now I can build a fortified vault. It's gonna take a bit of time, but I'm doing that anyhow. Um, I'm gonna send him to oversee construction. So that will only take a year. We'll travel to the feast. Um, Tika is incapable. Who's currently Tika of Hainum? He's incapable. That's good. He's gonna pass away, which means I can probably empty my campaign fund even more. Thank you. What? Who's the owner? Goldsmith is the owner. Can I? No. What do we know about this guy? He has... I don't know any ambition or anything about him. He's got a good prestige, but... He's... In, uh, there we go. Comatose in bed, which means that... 
she might... Hmm... This boy? Can I... No. Okay, so now the respect is low for that guy. I'm gonna drop my campaign fund to about 100. And we need to get back to... Oh, look at that. It's 1140. And we need to get back to expanding our trade. Um, we're gonna s go from the top here. You have nothing, so... Very nice. I have a small merchant port everywhere now, I think. Except for there. Um, I'll build that once we have 100. There we go. 1394 and most of my money is going to my vassals, a little bit to my leash. But that's not too bad. I have a good balance of plus 167. Might cost me if I build up my retinue later, but not too much a problem. But this one is a worry. There we go. I died a natural death. So be it. And Kolbjorn. 42 years old, took over. And my heir is 72 years old, unmarried. Um... And we have open positions here. Who is a good steward? No, Chancellor. My half-brother is a fairly good... Um, I want you to keep fabricating claims down there. Otherwise, there's not a lot of things going on here. Um, what happened with this? Okay, we lost one trade post there because of okay he's gonna be my new heir eventually designate heir I know that I will lose the title but that's something we can work on with the campaign funds which I can see that we have a lot of money here how much would I need to push into this to become the next 450. Not quite worth it yet. I won't do that until I'm a bit older. Um, but this guy here... What's up with my piety? Hmm. Got a good diplomacy. State diplomacy 46, actually. It's very good. We need to build up relations there. We also need more sons. Okay. I need an ambition. What should that be? Paragon of Virtue. See if we can play him as a virtuous guy, even though he's lost a lot in that. Probably doing a bad thing with that, but... Yeah, the cynical trait is not gonna help out. She's still going to be... I don't have any claims, do I? No. I didn't. Uh, inherit any of the claims. 
Okay, my kinsman died, which means that my trade post limit went down. But also that means that there are fewer to pay. I know I am evil like that. Wow, look at my money. Okay, small. Let's see. Who can I imprison? Yep. Um, Stroben is my main contender for the throne, and now I can actually do that, because I want to be next in line. I do need to build prestige. Let him rot. Wow. A lot has happened in this one, and, um, well, sad to see poor, poor Tulke pass on, but he got almost to 70 years old before he died a natural death. Ah, <sighs> sad. I need to work up my opinion, well, the opinion with my leash, but definitely with the church. So, I'm going to, before I end this episode, um, improve religious relations with the Pope. He's old, this guy, isn't he? 63 years old. All my court is very old, but they're not of blood, so that's not too big a problem. But, anyhow, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.